Hi, you're listening to a brand new edition of Dan. I'm David Stjernholm and today's episode is about how to combine being available for your colleagues with working focused and uninterrupted. If you're in some kind of managing or leading position, it might feel important to be as available to those you manage or lead as possible. After all, you're working together on a regular basis. You're keen to inspire that team feeling and with common efforts, you'll develop and grow the business you're working in. Perhaps you have even allowed this core value of yours to manifest in one of the clear goals you have set for yourself and your work. You will be an available boss. Just like most other people, you also have tasks that demand your full attention and focus for longer stretches of time. If, when working on these tasks, you were to close your door for a while, you would no longer be the available boss you wish to be. So, your door is, literally or figuratively, always open. Let's say you manage to close the door when the demanding tasks need to be done. The tasks are important and necessary, but in spite of this, you feel bad about isolating yourself. And a voice at the back of your mind says that you should be available right now, since that's what you promised you would be. In order to close your door and get time and space to work undisturbed without feeling bad about it, you need to determine how available you really need to be. What level of availability will suffice and be enough? Do this. If you sometimes need to make yourself unavailable but simultaneously have the ambition to be an available, present and committed leader and you're finding it hard to make these seemingly opposite desires coexist, then do this. First, consider what you actually mean by available. Does it mean that you need to be reachable a certain number of hours every week? Is it that your coworkers should be able to trust that you stop by their desk every morning and that you then have time to address any issues or questions they might have? Is it that you always answer emails or other messages from your colleagues within a certain number of hours since you're almost never in the office? Or does it mean something else to you? Then, depending on how you define availability, there will be different ways to measure it. Determine a value or measurement that reflects what you believe is available enough. How available do you need to be in order to be sufficiently available? Once this is established, ask yourself the opposite. How unavailable is it okay for you to be? When you have arrived at how unavailable you can allow yourself to be and still be as available as you believe you should be, meaning reaching the specific goal you just set, determine a method or way that will allow you to ensure you get the time you need undisturbed. This will enable you to be wholeheartedly present and available when you're supposed to, without feeling stressed about not getting that precious time alone when you need to focus. Will you close your door, switch your phone to silent mode and shut down the email for a specific hour or two every day? Will you make your rounds amongst the co-workers from time to time, after which you can sit down to work undisturbed for an hour until something new comes up that someone needs help with? Will you turn off the inflow of messages, emails and phone calls from time to time without feeling bad about it, since you know you'll not have to answer anything in the next few hours anyway? Perhaps you have some other way to make sure you get time alone. Because if you make it clear both to others and yourself how available you'll be, it will become possible to be this available and also attend to tasks and problems which don't involve others. You'll not be interrupted as often as before, yet still be the committed and present leader you wish to be. How do you balance being available and unavailable in your role at work? Write to me at david at stjernholm.com and tell me about your situation and how you have improved it. I'm curious to hear of what solution you have found to this common dilemma. Thank you for listening to this edition of Done and welcome back next week.